I took a minute to catch on to some malevolent aura, the one whom she gave cash for a small fortune of pills to keep her good and tight for a long time, the history between them. I could sense his adrenaline, and by points of concentration of feeling and thought, was able to decipher his hideout on the mezzanine in a gutted room where he stayed. And I got up, and the kids followed me there, where I kicked the door in and eyed him with dark animosity. He was sitting at a desk counting pills and pushed back until his chair fell over, jumping up to his feet when he saw me. Where is she? Where is Kel? I demanded to know. He was wearing a t-shirt which read, I put the fun in dysfunctional. Sadly, I had to disagree. His head was shaved funny and spray-painted orange. He looked like someone's kid who got deliberately left behind at a rave 20 years ago, who had been sucking on acid out of some retired construction equipment in rural Indiana ever since. The way I saw it, he put the dis in dysfunctional. He wasn't so dangerous, just meeting a demand with supply. I, I, I don't know, he stammered. I haven't seen her. Turns out he was telling the truth. He was looking me in the eyes when he spoke. He wasn't blinking. He wasn't bargaining or concealing anything in his mind, or shifting on his feet, or wringing his hands. He was pissing his pants. He wasn't swearing to God on his life or anything. He saved himself by telling the truth. She hadn't been here in quite a while. Someone was tugging on my sleeve, and I looked down. It was my little wonder, my gap tooth boy. And he tilted his head back and smiled large, showing me. He wanted to know if I did it. Did what, I asked him. Some older boys behind him had some local gossip on their lips. Apparently some thief in the building had completely fucked off and was nowhere to be found. Of course, no one cared, other than to say everything in his room was up for grabs, and anything valuable had long since been taken from the vacant room. Did you do it? Gap Tooth asked again, with the other boys looking up, all with great admiration. I don't know anything about it, I said, nodding my head. <laughs>